Nearly 50 years ago, right here, students of famed conductor James Levine claimed they were manipulated and sexually taken advantage of. Tonight, one of those students shared his story. I mean, the Cleveland Institute of Music is the school for orchestral playing. Albin Ifsich knew he wanted to play violin. So what better place to study and who better to study with than revered conductor James Levine at the Cleveland Institute of Music. I listened to what he said, and it made sense to me at the time because I had no experience. I was a kid. In those days, we were a lot more naive. It was at the Institute, he says, Levine developed a sexual relationship with him and many other young men, part of a group they called the Levinites, 20 devout students of James Levine. I know it was abusive now, but at the time, I thought it was like, well, he's like, uh, well, we have to improve your bow arm, or we have to improve your sense of rhythm, and I can't understand you musically unless I understand you sexually. The sexual abuse and manipulation, if Sitch says, lasted for six years. A student teacher to me, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be. You shouldn't trust a teacher who then, then does this. I find that a little bit worse. If Sitch says the naive, young, impressionable students were quick to believe Levine. Didn't see it as abuse. We saw it as, as a way to develop, to better ourselves. If Sitch is now one of four men accusing Levine of sexual abuse during his time as a teacher. We asked if Sitch what prompted him to come forward all these years later. And maybe I owe it to the next generation to at least explain what happened so that it doesn't happen again. And maybe set the record straight. As I said, I, I don't want vengeance. I just want the truth. James Levine has said all of these abuse allegations are unfounded. The Cleveland Orchestra said that they were never made aware of any complaints during the time Levine was with them. We also reached out tonight to the Cleveland Institute of Music, who said in part, we are deeply troubled to hear of these incidents and disturbed to confront evidence of a culture that simply would not be tolerated today. Reporting in Cleveland for News 5, I'm James Ferrardi.